LA Lakersi ili bi ih sudeći po njihovoj popularnosti mogli nazvati američki bogovi. Kada igraju doma većina celebova pohrli u prve redove Staple Centra u Los Angelesu, a ja ću danas ekskluzivno za gledatelje red karpeta ući u slačionicu LA Lakersa i saznati kakva je atmosfera među najboljim košarkašima na svijetu. Tell me something about the atmosphere before the game in the locker room. What's your favorite inspiration quote that you always repeat to yourself before the game? Uh, well, you know, just stay, stay focused, be aggressive out there. Uh, something that I keep uh, telling myself to be active and um, just play hard. Uh, some, some of the things that I like to do out there. You don't have, for example, some favorite song that you listen every time before you go on the court? I don't, I don't. Uh, usually not. Usually, uh, I mean, I'm, I, hate, I hate listen to some music on the way here uh, but once I'm here I don't listen to any music I'm already focused and uh, I'm ready to go do you pray yeah, but of course yeah, always, yes. can you demonstrate for me one short prayer uh, well, I'm not gonna demonstrate <laughs> prayer <laughs> I mean, close eyes and pray. Okay, they are different than you know in Croatia maybe I was thinking that you teach me something uh, nah. Nah, no 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 problem that's a personal thing LA Lakers the club sa 16 titula per Vaka NBA lige, najvrijedniji klub prema Forbesu koji im je procijenio vrijednost na 643 milijuna dolara, te klub sa 23 imena u kući slavnih. Dennis Rodman, Shaquille O'Neal, Vlado Divac i Magic Johnson samo su neka od slavnih imena koja su obilježila ovaj klub. A trenutačno Lakersovu povijest pišu Kobe Bryant, Lamar Odom i Paul Gasol. Do you hear the comments during the game, you know, from the public? Do I hear? Uh, some. some What was the funniest song? Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, I mean, people say a lot of things, you know, when we're winning, obviously they're cheering. When we're losing, they're not very happy. Uh, but, uh, you know, I guess always the most funny ones is when they tell you, you know, I love you or I want to marry you, you know, things, things like that. What can you say that you bought, you know, like the first thing with your first bigger salary? Oh, the first thing I bought was a house, my own house. It was a great feeling. Before the car? Before the car, yeah. Who has the best talent, you know, for singing in the locker room? Oh, no. Uh, nobody, <laughs> nobody that I know of. We don't have any singers. Who is the first person you call after the game? Oh, uh, probably my wife to see where she at, see what she doing. Shaking? Yeah, making sure she out there waiting on me or if she not at the game, just see what she doing. Shannon Brown prošle se godine u tajnosti oženio s R&B pjevačicom Monikom nakon nekoliko mjeseci hodanja. Stupanj slave koju imaju on ili bilo koji njegov kolega iz Lakersa može se usporediti s onom Davida Beckhama ili Cristiana Ronalda budući da se košarkaši tog kluba u Americi tretiraju kao najveće zvijezde. Can you say that LA Lakers players are more popular than Hollywood actors here in USA? I don't know. I, I don't know. I think uh, they love their actors out here in, in L.A. too. It's probably, in L.A. it's probably 50-50. The Lakers envelop everyone, the, the whole community, not just from the stars, but, you know, from the people. They envelop everyone in Los Angeles, but everyone in the world really becomes a Laker fan because of what they represent, winning, dignity, class, and respect. Okay, who is the most passionate Laker uh, fan, the most like celebrity? Jack. Jack, definitely. Jack is number one. Yeah. Andy Garcia, very, very passionate. Diane Cannon, after all the decades and decades, Diane will be another passionate Laker fan. And of course, the Smiths, Joe and Donnie Smith. They are, he's a, a record mogul. They are very, very passionate fans. Jack Nicholson tako ne propusti gotovo pa ni jednu utakmicu Lakersa, a među hrpom selebova koji vrve iz prvih redova na svim njihovim tekvama su Leonardo DiCaprio, Megan Fox, David Beckham, Kardashian, Ke Paris Hilton i mnogi drugi. Tijekom mog boravka sa slavnim košarkašima i mene je zahvatila epidemija Lakers, pa sam si dala oduška da ih malo bolje pregledam. I saw one interesting tattoo. Can you show it to us? Which one? The, oh, what don't kill you, only make you stronger. I mean, I, I That's your favorite uh, life quote? Um, it, it helps out in life, you know, especially since I've been younger, the stuff I've been through. So it, it definitely helps me out a whole lot. You know, I got to continue to stay strong and, you know, continue to push through no matter what the adversity is. What was the hardest thing you had to overcome in life? Oh, you're trying to take me back. Um, 
I mean, it's been a lot of things, you know. I don't, I, it's been a lot of things, but just being able to go through everyday life and, and stay positive and not give up, you know, because it, it's been a lot of people that, that's given up and, you know, did all type of, you know, weird stuff. And I'm glad I'm in my right mind. I wake up in my right mind every day. Okay, so let's go a little bit on your tattoos. Can you discover to us what are they, you know, what do they mean? It's just a cross right here. Mm -hmm. I got my nickname here. Uh, the initials of two of my friends that passed away. 619 is this area code where I grew up at. What? And then, what's Six, that? Is it 619 or 69? 619, uh -huh. San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is my brother, three, four of us boys, so one of each of them for, to represent all of them and myself. But mom misses in the uh, middle. Mom's always in the middle. She's always in the middle. There was four of us boys growing up. And my dad was always traveling on the road. So uh, she uh, she had her hands full. She did a great job and made a lot of sacrifices for us. Did you make her princess? You know, like five guys and one woman? She was. She's definitely uh, the, the queen. Nakon što sam preispitala LA Lakers, nisam mogla izdržati da ne odem pronjuškati što se događa u slačionici suprotnog tima San Antonio Spurs. Tamo sam naletila na bivšeg supruga Eve Longorije, poznatu košarkašku zvijezdu Tonija Parkera. Okay, what's the atmosphere usually like uh, in the locker room before the game? Is it the silence, like now, or sometimes it can be more funny? Uh, we have a pretty uh, silent locker room. Uh, we don't even play music or anything. Uh, everybody's pretty focused in our team. Uh, kind of boring, but we just focus. Being a big basketball star, so of course, has a lot of benefits, but what are the bad sides? Oh, I just love playing basketball. It's my passion. I've been playing basketball since I'm like two years old, so I love it. I feel very lucky and I feel very blessed. 29-godišnji Tony Parker, francuski reprezentativac i jedan od najboljih NBA igrača, uz kolegu Gary Anila najpopularniji u Spursovoj slačionici. I dok je Parker friško slobodan i jako popularan među ženama, kod Nila je nešto drugčija situacija. Is it, you know, difficult? to maintain from, you know, when you are on the court and you have to score every time in the private life, you know, to get, not to get everything every time you want. I mean, no, I'm, I'm married, so, I don't, yeah, my, my getting days are over, so, you know, I don't have a Twitter account or Facebook, so. Oh, you, so you are probably one of the rarest, you yeah, know, yeah. players that doesn't have. My private life is, is pretty, what is it, it's private, so. What would you do if you were not a basketball player? Uh, I think I'll be a soccer player. I always, yeah, I always wanted to play soccer, and France is the number one sport. So I played soccer for like three years before I started playing basketball. Tjedan druženja s Lakersima nastavila sam i dan poslije, pa sam tako imala priliku doći na njihov trening i porazgovarati s najvećom košarkaškom zvijezdom, Kobe & Bryantom. from Croatia. I've heard that your, you know, ex-teammate Sasha Vujacic have teach you some words on our language. So can you demonstrate oh. for us? <laughs> well, it's not my fault because what they taught me is things I that I can't say on TV. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> okay, I've read a funny story about how you got your name. Mm -hmm. Can you tell for our viewers? Well, my parents were at a Japanese restaurant eating and they saw Kobe beef on the menu and said, well, if we have a son, that'll be a great name and voila, here I am. <laughs> Kobe Bryant to Lakers je došao nakon odlaska najveće srpske košarkaške zvijezde Vlade Divca. Zajedno sa ostalim košarkašima ne može se oteti dojmu nakon što je odgledao dirljiv dokumentarac jednom braća koji govori o uništenom prijateljstvu Divca i Dražena Petrovića zbog hrvatsko-srpskog rata. It's incredible. It's incredible. I watched it before a game, actually, um, during the preseason. Incredible, incredible story. How do you comment, you know, that friendship and the old story that happened? It's, you know, it's, it's tough. It's amazing, um, you know, the role that politics and family and so forth, how that can play into a friendship and separate such a close friendship. Um, it's, uh, it's sad to see. It's sad to see. Has it ever happened to you, you know, in your career that maybe you had to, you know, some influence bad on some friendship that you had from early age or something where everything is the same like before? Not, not on that level. Not on that level. I mean, you have, you know, as you grow older, you, you know, you have things that you do in your life that may be different than what your friends from high school are doing. So you kind of go separate ways. Um, but nothing along the lines of what they went through. 
Ova najveća Lakersova zvijezda najplaćenije je košarkaš u NBA-u, a četvrti među svim sportovima, čime sa zaradom u 30 miliona dolara godišnje i to bez sponzorskih ugovora, prestiže i Kristijana Ronalda. O njegovom utjecaju i popularnosti dovoljno govori činjenica da je najbolji nogometaš svijeta Leo Messi rekao kako ga je upravo Bryant na olimpijskim igrama inspirirao da on napravi u nogometu ono što je Kobe napravio u košarci. Pokori sve pred sobom. Who had the biggest influence in your career? Uh, biggest influence on my career. You know, I've, I've had a lot of people influence me. A lot of people. Um, you know, players, parents, you know, coaches, high school coaches, middle school coaches. I've had a lot of good people influence me. Is it true that if you haven't become a basketball player, that you would be a soccer player? Yes. Yes. For which team you would play? Wow, I don't know. Uh, growing up, my favorite team was AC Milan. A druženje s Lakersima nastavljamo i sljedeće nedjelje kada ćete imati priliku vidjeti ekskluzivu sa eventa na kojem je Lamaro Dom dobio presižnu NBA nagradu Six Man of the Year te što je na sve to rekla njegova slavna supruga Chloe Kardashian.